Hello guys! Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and shout out to Mom Hansel Habines, my first YouTube subscriber. Thank you everyone and keep safe always. The focus of our discussion is on transforming quadratic function into vertex form. And at the end of this video, um, you are expected to learn on how to transform um, the quadratic function defined by y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which we call as the standard form, into the vertex form y equals a. Uh, multiplied by the square of the difference of x and h plus k. Okay, so let's start with our example number one. Now, in example number one, we are asked to transform um, the quadratic function equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 5 into vertex form. And take note, our a is greater than 0. So that's why we have here a is equal to 2. Now, in transforming, we have here several vertex to follow. First, we have to separate, separate the quadratic term and linear term from the constant term. So we have here, this is the quadratic term, this is the linear term, and this is the constant term. We call this quadratic and this is the degree 2 term. This is degree 1 term and this is degree 0 term. Now, by the way, um, I used or I, I write here y instead of this notation. Well, anyway, they are the same. No? Okay, so it says that we separate the quadratic term and linear term from the constant term. So that's Okay, so that's how we are going to separate. That's step step one. Now for step two, uh, we are going to far, factor out the coefficient of quadratic term. So we have here, um, we are going to factor out two here. No? Okay, so, and the result will be this one. Y is equal to two multiplied by the quantity x squared minus 4x and plus 5. Now, for those who already forgot uh, factoring, common monomial, okay, we have here and a recall. Okay, this is how we obtain. So, copy first the equation. Then, we are going to factor out the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. So, what we are going to do is divide the quadratic term and the uh, linear term by 2. Take note, this is the numerical coefficient of the um, quadratic term. So 2x squared divided by 2 or 8x divided by 2, we have here x squared, then copy the operation, then 4x and copy 5. Now, so... The divisor that we used here to becomes our factor. Okay? So, of course, we copy y and equals. So, let's proceed to step 3. Now, in step 3, we are going to complete the perfect square trinomial. Now, we have here only two terms of the quadratic trinomial. So, we have x squared minus 4x. So what we're going to do is we are going to make this as a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so this is what will happen. So we have added here 4 and we sub subtracted here 8. How we do that? So let's continue. Okay, so this is how we complete a perfect square trinomial. So we copy the equation. Then we are going to take the coefficient of x, which is, this is the coefficient of x, which is um, 4. And then we multiply 4 by 1 half. 
Okay? The product is 2. Or we can also do division. So we divide 4 by 2. And the quotient is the same. No? The product and the quotient is the same. So what we will do next is we are going to square the product or the quotient, which is 2. And that is 2 squared equals 4. And we write 4 here. That's why we have here plus 4. It's always, by the way, it's always plus here. It's always plus when you complete the perfect square trinomial. Then next, uh, let's try to find out how we obtain minus 8. Okay. So again, let's copy this expression. So we, we are going to multiply... The, these two numbers here and the product is 8. No? Okay, the product is 8. Now, let us take the opposite of 8 or the opposite of positive 8, which is negative 8. So, that's what we are going to um, add or yes, or subtract Eight from this equation okay so I hope you were able to follow so let's uh, continue to step four now in step four we have to simplify and at the same time factor the perfect square trinomial so we have here y equals the product of two and the quantity x squared minus 4x plus 4, then plus 5 minus 8. So let's simplify 5 minus 8. The result is minus 3 or negative 3. Okay. Then, um, factoring the perfect square trinomial, we have here the binomial square. No? And how did we get this one? For some of you who already forgot, how to factor perfect square trinomial, then we have here as our uh, recall. Okay. Recall that x squared minus 4x plus 4 is one of the special products with S here. Then, its factor is also called special factor, which we call binomial square or square of a binomial. So we have here, 1x squared minus 4x plus 4. This is a perfect square trinomial. So what we will do? Okay. So uh, the con uh, this part here is a perfect square part. And here also, this is also a perfect square. So 1 and 4 are perfect square numbers. So what we will do? 1 can be written as 1 times 1. 4 can also be written as 2 times 2 or 2 squared. So next is, we copy 1 here, then 2. Okay. So, since our operation is, uh, since our middle, the linear term operation is minus, so we use here minus. So we have here the square of the difference of 1x and 2 is the same as the square of the difference of x and 2. So that's how we get the uh, factor of the perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, okay, so, okay, wait. Okay, therefore, the vertex form the vertex form of y equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 5 is y equals the product of 2 and the square of the difference of x and 2 minus 3. Okay, so we call that as this uh, we call this as the standard form and this one as the vertex form. Okay, guys. So we are done with our example number one.